Hey Geminis, welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 1st to the 11th. So for my newbies, hello, thank you for joining us. Um, I always go over my meditative session and then I go ahead and get into the tarot reading, okay? Keep in mind for my meditative sessions, it's energy in and around you. So it's energy that could be coming from you that you could be experiencing personally or someone in your environment or someone you're energetically attacked, attached to, connected to. I used to say connected, this interesting attached came out. Um, connected to attached keeps wanting to come out someone's got a little bit of an attachment to somebody here that's very clear i keep wanting to say attachment when i'm trying to say connection oh boy keep that in mind gemini as attachments are not exactly healthy okay um so just keep that in mind as i go ahead and i tell you about my meditative session so gemini's i picked up on a lot of shit as always, Gemini's with you. You guys make me talk a lot and I get a lot of really interesting messages when I do your readings. Um, I love reading for Gemini. So guys, keep this in mind. Because I had so many messages and little intuitive hits come through, they're going to be different for all of you. Like they're not going to pertain to everyone. That's the best way to say that. They're not going to pertain to everybody, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into it. So first thing they showed me, actually they showed me a card from the Lenormand deck. I don't use it in my readings because it's a hard ass deck to learn and I'm still learning it. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely frank with you, I, I can't wait till I can use it, but I don't like to use decks. Like, first, I'm getting ahead of myself. Gemini, you're always making me get ahead of myself. So this is not a tarot deck, for those who are not familiar with this. It is not tarot. Uh, you can kind of think of it as like, I don't like the word gypsy, but it's like, that's kind of that's, that's kind of like the better way to describe this deck. It's more from that kind of culture. Um, so it's very different from tarot. And it, this, this deck in particular uses carmency. Um, so the book, this is what they showed me. The book. Oh, please focus. Hold on. Focus. Okay. The book with 10 of diamonds, which is basically 10 of pentacles, 26 breaking down to an eight. The book is about secrets. Yep. Gemini book is about secrets, hidden knowledge, like basically like what's going to get me to my 10 of pentacles. You know, it's that kind of energy, but I do feel a lot of high priestess energy, um, around in and around you guys. So keep that in mind. Gemini's. I feel like you guys are like really trying to put some puzzle pieces together here. It feels a little bit like an enigma that you're looking at. And I feel like you're actually looking at your past to try to figure out how to move forward, which is how, you know, not a bad strategy, but you have all these random pieces and you're like, how the fuck does this, <laughs> it's like, how does this fit together? Like, how did I get here? How did this happen? And it's almost like an energy of like, like, um, like crime scene. Like you're taking all the little pieces of evidence and you're just laying them out on the table and it's like. I missed something. How did I miss this? Okay, well, those two pieces go together. Well, for that to happen, this had to happen. Well, if this person really wanted to do this, this was their true motive. It's like really like being MacGyver here and like trying to figure shit out um, to get the full picture, to see what's really going, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera, to see what's really going on with you, Gemini, in order to continue on in your path here, okay? I do get some frustration with that. I gotta be honest. I feel a very frustrated energy behind that. And it does feel more masculine as opposed to feminine, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I also have this energy of a very feminine energy. When I say feminine or masculine energy, they could be any gender. It's just energy being harnessed. We both have masculine and feminine energy in us. So for example, I'm a female. Sometimes I'm more, I'm in more masculine energy to, for certain things versus my more feminine side, right? So I felt a very strong feminine energy who I feel like is trying to manifest their way out of heartbreak, um, manifest their way out of pain and trying to manifest people into their life. Like the people they want in their life, the people that, that really belong in this person's life. You know, it feels a little bit like this person's going through a transition or they've had a little bit of a bump in the road, a tower moment, a wake up call, and it's like, okay, clearly that didn't work out because that's hurt, that hurt me, that wasn't in my best interest. Let me try, and it really feels like manifestation, like magician-like energy or empress energy even. Like, let me just try to manifest the soulmate I need in my life. Let me try to manifest the soul tribe, the people that are my people really looking forward, really looking ahead and trying to be optimistic. Now this energy feels very blocked off. I gotta be honest, I actually saw a brick wall when I started feeling this energy. Um, so it's interesting because this energy is trying so hard to manifest, but at the same time, I feel a big boundary, like a big boundary, whether it's just energetic, emotional, or this person is really physically like trying to be alone first before these people come in. But I feel like people are already there, <laughs> like trying to come in. Um, cause I also saw like, this is another visual I got. I know I got, a, I always get a lot of messages for you guys. I think the last reading I did, I actually had to write all this down. 
it was like boot camp energy i saw a bunch of people like running obstacle courses maybe you're doing boot camp maybe you're just trying to get in shape that could definitely be what just what i saw but it almost felt very competitive like competitive going through the gauntlet like jumping through hoops and then I saw that same brick wall, like, except they were climbing it. Like, you know, in obstacle courses, you're like climbing the wall. So my feminine energies who are experiencing this, trying to manifest people in your life that are better for you, trying to manifest a new soulmate situation, and just trying to get through your pain, like very three of swords in reverse, like just trying to heal your shit. You've got your back turned to what you've been through. But doing that, I think has created a little bit of an energetic block because you're not done with your healing. So you've got these people trying to come in and they can't come in. So just be mindful of that, okay? Just be mindful about your energy and just be mindful about your emotions if you're being a little too blocked off to certain opportunities or certain people. If you don't wanna deal with people, you don't wanna deal with people, but that's just something I was picking up on, okay? Whew. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, for those who are new to my channel, um, keep in mind these are very general readings so not all messages will resonate with everybody messages come through for those who need to hear them so sometimes that'll be you and sometimes it won't be you and if it's not your story this week then that's totally fine there are a lot of great readers on youtube feel free to check them out and you know support those where this is their message and no need to throw hate if it ain't your message because i can't read for everybody at once right okay um, also guys, we are working with energy, so just keep in mind, as I said before, energy is fluid, so messages can be vice versa. So if the reading is resonating with you, but the roles are switched, that's okay. Switch them up. Switch them up. Nothing wrong with that. Um, also guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. As I said, we all have masculine and feminine energy that goes for sign energy as well. We can harness any sign that we want to at any given time as far as energy goes. So sorry. You guys okay? What the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I feel a tower. <laughs> Holy shit, come on. Wow, this phone does not want to stay up. We cool? We're cool. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, so when I'm calling out sign energy, it's just for informative purposes. Okay, let's go ahead and get into your reading, Geminis. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Any messages for Geminis? Any messages for Geminis regarding love? <sighs> Seven of Swords. Why does I feel heavy? Aquarian energy. This feels really heavy, guys. I don't like this. Let sleeping dogs lie. Whoa, let sleeping dogs lie. Okay, Geminis. Someone's, temp someone's tempted here. Someone's tempted to disrupt something, to go for something. I'm getting like, let sleeping dogs lie. It's like, with, you know, and for those who don't know that metaphor or don't know that saying, not metaphor, who don't know that saying, <laughs> those who don't know that saying, it's basically like, don't poke the bear. Don't disturb what's going on. Like, just let, let things be, right? Let things be, leave those dogs alone. Leave them alone. It's like, just leave it alone. But someone's really tempted to not leave it alone. I'm also getting a very impatient energy all of a sudden. Wow, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles in reverse is, Ten of Pentacles in general is about wealth, stability, long-term security, long-term stability in the tangible sense. So it could be money, it could be a household, it could be finances, you know, it's that that sort of energy. Some, oh, okay that's what this is someone's watching a situation transpire where it's just like it's not working out you know what I mean it's not working out it's almost like don't talk about that issue don't talk about that problem let it be let it be someone's really tempted to not let it be and like I'm getting a lot of frustrated impatient energy with that this feels like a foundation that's broken. I gotta be honest with you. This definitely feels like a foundation that's broken. It could be a family issue because Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups are about family vibrations and home vibrations. This could be a long-standing family issue where someone's just like, I need to talk about it. I can't sit here and not talk about it. You know, it almost feels like that kind of energy. Or it could have been like a very long-standing relationship or, or um, business. Why did business just come out? out? Come out? Come out. I guess I got some Canadians watching me. Hello. <laughs> it's funny. I got business all of a sudden. That's interesting. So it could be a business issue or a long-standing family issue, but I also feel it could be like a long time, like broken or fragmented marriage or relationship. And there's a main crack. 
there's a main issue like sticking out like a sore thumb it's making someone crazy it's making someone frustrated and it's like they can't leave it alone they can't they can't leave it alone they can't leave it alone but i feel the energies around this person want them to leave it alone any messages for gemini any messages for gemini regarding love september 1st to the 11th any messages for gemini regarding love Ooh, page of cups in reverse yeah there's a lot of dishonesty going on here whatever this crack is in the foundation whether it's business a home like an actual home or a family or a relationship issue a long-standing relationship issue it, it has dishonesty attached to it it has dishonesty attached to it and it's making someone insane and it's like I, it's almost like that itch that can't be scratched it's like I, i'm going to go insane if i don't scratch that itch interesting any messages for gemini regarding love september 1st to the 11th the dishonesty and the secrets ten of pentacles i just realized i'd flash back to the book card that i showed you guys <sighs> whatever this dishonesty is there's 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 a hidden secret about it there's a hidden secret here which is why they're like leave it alone that's why energies around this person are just like leave it the fuck alone gemini or a person of gemini leave it alone just leave it alone you don't want to open that box you don't want to open that book you don't want to know what that secret is you don't want to know what that crack is about oh this is getting heavy any other messages for gemini regarding love september 1st to the 11th gemini i really feel like it's you where you're like yeah i'm not leaving that shit alone I'm not. I'm not. Feeling a five of wands energy all of a sudden. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Ooh, six of swords. I like that. Yeah, let's skip over the five of wands. Shoot. Let's go right to peace. Let's go right to getting the hell out of here, right? Six of swords, Aquarian energy. Oh, I heard peacemaker. Okay. I feel for some of you this is a family issue for sure it could just be in a, within a relationship but i do feel like it is um a family issue for a lot of you and it's like gemini's you want to address that crack because there it's it's revolving around some kind of dishonest bullshit, okay and it's long standing it feels like it's been there for quite a while you're tired of looking at it you're tired of everyone else ignoring it and you're like okay let's just talk about it Let's just open that door. Let's just open that book. Let's just let that secret out so we can actually get some peace of mind about this and peace in the situation. Any messages for Gemini? Oh, perfect. Oh, I love it. Oh, fuck yes. Look at this. The sun, Leo energy with justice, Libra energy. Let's open that box. Let's go there. Gemini, you're playing devil's advocate. And I think that's why you've been, okay, that's why that puzzle energy, that's why I was getting that puzzle energy. Like, why is that not working? You know, this should have been, this should have been happening. What was their motive? It's like, you're basically realizing there's been some major dishonesty for some, even some active sabotage here regarding a family situation or within a longstanding relationship or even within a business. And you're tired of looking at this crack and you know, there's some secrets there. And once you open that book, boom, total illumination and justice and balance can come in total revealing of whatever that secret is and whatever that dishonesty is about and you're bringing in peace you're bringing in peace mostly for you i gotta be honest jen it's mostly for you it's peace of mind for yourself because it's been making you insane overall energy we have strength leo energy i love this guys underneath that ace of pentacles and the ace of swords not to mention hangman in reverse piscean energy so again revelations right enlightenment getting that knowledge, having that answer, finding, finally getting that answer, finally getting that last puzzle piece in and you can see what the whole picture looks like. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is truth and it's leading to a new start. A new start where it's like, you just open the book. It's like no more secrets. No more secrets. No more secrets. I like it. I really like it, Gemini. So let's look over here. With the, seven, with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I'm really interested in this Ten of Pentacles in reverse energy, so let's take a peek at that. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like it is a bit of a battle to open this book. Because I feel like for some of you, like I said, I feel very heavy family for some of you who, who this is resonating for. And it's like every single person doesn't want you to open that fucking book. No one wants you to. 
and it's like you're having to fight them and you're, and you're like why are they so combative with me it's like it might have even that actually might have been what piqued your curiosity because maybe you asked an innocent question or maybe you just said a, like an innocent comment and then you got a lot of backlash for it like something that's very disproportionate to like what you said or your energy that you brought to the table and it was like well why are you reacting that way you know um, and for some of you, this is definitely just between you and another person in a relationship of some kind. Or this could be you, like, revealing some secrets within a business or some underhandedness at work. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like, sorry, I like, totally, just giving examples. Like, if you're an accountant and you're like, that number's not right. What's up with that entry? That entry looks weird. That entry doesn't add up to all this other shit. And they're like, don't talk about it. Stop asking about it. You know, it's it's that kind of energy. It's that kind of energy. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely seems like it's been a battle to get this book open. And for those who aren't in that energy yet, it's going to be a battle. Keep in mind, this could be someone that you're connecting to, okay? Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Ooh. Ooh. We have Ace of Wands in reverse and then a Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. I definitely feel like this is your energy, Gemini. You're tired. You're tired of looking at this crack. Honestly, you're just tired of looking at it. You're tired of looking at it. And with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you, you really are approaching this slow. For those where this process started a while ago, you've been at it for a while. Okay, some of you, this process started way back, like months ago. Okay, and Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, but it's because they're moving slow to get the job done right. You know what I mean? Moving slow to get the job done right. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're over this shit. You're oh, oh yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is interesting. Ooh, yeah, Tur like turn away. I just heard turn away, turn away. Um, Gemini's, you grew really tired of this of having to look at this crack and like everyone not wanting you to acknowledge it, everyone wanting you to just suck it up and accept it, or your partner wanting you to suck it up and accept it. And you're just saying, no, no, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. And I almost feel like two combative energies, but this Knight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles in reverse, this could be between, you know, older and younger family member. You know, I actually feel a little sibling energy with that for some reason. I'm feeling siblings with that. But the Page of Pentacles in reverse is like, stop looking at it, stop looking at it, stop looking at it. And you're like, no, we're going to fucking look at it. <laughs> no, we're going to look at it. Let's see here. Yeah, Gemini's, keep in mind, like I said, it could be vice versa. I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. I guess for a lot of you, this could be vice versa. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini. I just heard Virgo. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Oh, wow. Yeah, overall energy, the star in reverse, Aquarian energy, and then we have temperance in reverse, Sag energy underneath that. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. I'm sorry, I know I keep pulling. And then Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. It is blatantly obvious. It's like the giant new <laughs> new crack that California got from all those earthquakes, right? This is a major need for healing and balancing the situation, addressing that crack, addressing that secret, addressing opening the book, because it's become so blatantly clear with this Ten of Cups in reverse that it's not working. It's not going to lead to happiness. It's only going to lead to more discomfort, more irritation, more unhappiness, especially if this is a family situation especially if this is a family situation like there is no way this family dynamic whoever this is resonating for uh is ever going to be in a ten of cups vibration in the positive without addressing this there's no way there's no way it's just not possible and again keep in mind yes this, this could be between you and one other person or this could be like something you're revealing at work okay now page of cups universe and the six of swords let's look at the six of swords because this is about you gemini really opening that book <laughs> honestly really opening that book and really calling for peace and more for your peace of mind against the dishonesty here the dishonesty that led to the crack in the first place so let's look at the six of swords mm. feeling steampunk for this one tell me about six of swords for gemini regarding love september 1st to the 11th tell me about six of swords for gemini Six of Swords for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh 
Oh shit, Gemini. I just heard if you say no one more time. Oh my god. Yeah, some of you are so frustrated and irritated and over it. Oh shit. Tell me about Six of Swords. For Gemini regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. You, might, you know, Gemini, you could have also been experiencing like total dismissive energy. Like maybe you mentioned something and they're like, no, you're just wrong. You're just wrong. And it's like, deep down you you will first of all you're not wrong because you you can it's obvious it's blatantly obvious right you just see the crack it's there it's there you can't tell me it's not there um that that might have even pissed you off even more because it's almost insulting your intelligence in a way you know tell me about six of swords Ooh, yeah five of pentacles taurian energy here oh yeah at least you're, you just you can't you just can't deal with it it's like this crack it's a it's a major flaw it's a major flaw. It's a major, I'm also hearing a major pain. That's interesting. If this is just a between you and another person, it could be a very core wound, but there's so many pentacles here. I really feel like it's about someone's stability at the end of the day or a foundational stability. You can't have a strong foundation if it's broken. You can't have a strong foundation if there's a giant ass crack in the middle of things. Like you just can't. Gemini and you know that and you're not going to tolerate any more instability sorry I'm like I'm feeling your frustration you're just like you're just really putting your foot down and I think you should I think you should if this is a situation in a job like a career you could have been getting like short short changed it's like short <laughs> I couldn't get that out short changed Gemini they could have been withholding your pay or not paying you as much as um, they should or even told you and they might say oh you know it's just been a slow month Business hasn't been that good. And I don't think that's true. Well, that's interesting. That might not be true. Either way, Geminis, you're not tolerating it. You're just not tolerating it. Tell me about Six of Swords for Gemini. Tell me about Six of Swords for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh, see, yeah, Ten of Wands, Sag Energy. This has been such a burden, Gemini such a freaking bird and you're over it you're freaking over it tell me about six of swords i definitely feel again i'm they're being they're drawing me back to this that there's a combative energy here between a page and a knight gemini's like i said i feel like you're coming across as the knight but it could be vice versa so keep that in mind cross watchers but yeah gemini's coming in as this knight you clearly have more experience and maturity than whoever it is that's telling you to stop looking at it even if they're older than you you have more maturity than they do you have more common sense than they do not to knock that person, but that's why I think you're also frustrated. You're just not being honored. You're not being respected. Ooh, interesting. Overall energy, we have a King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Ooh, and a Queen of Cups underneath that. Underneath that, Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. The Devil, Capricorn energy. And then a King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be air or fire. Gemini's. Gemini's. This is what's so fascinating to me. There's clearly three people here. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> it's it's kind of blatantly obvious. Now what's interesting to me is I feel like this King of Cups has a lot of stability and I almost feel like this is an onlooker. I really feel like this is an onlooker and they... Something about true. Hold on. Their aim is true? Wait a minute. They're giving me something. Their aim is true. Intentions. Okay. This person's intentions are true. But I feel like this person's on the periphery. I feel like this person's really on the periphery. Uh, could we know the straight up Scorpio? Because it's interesting. They're coming across as a, as a king. But I have to be honest. I never get the specific what gender. I really feel like this is a female for some reason. Um... balanced they're just balanced okay thank you <laughs> my guides were confirming for me i was like why do i feel such feminine energy on this because they're just balanced and this person's really tapped into their emotions their emotional waters which is more feminine um so that's why i was perceiving this as a female but either way male or female this person's very balanced right now this person's on the periphery though this person's not a part of this situation is what i'm getting yeah this king of cups is not a part of the situation whatsoever they're just kind of off in the wings here some are actively watching some are just kind of doing their thing but this person's got a lot of self-love is what I'm getting. And they're like, em emulate it. They emulate it. They emulate it. And they like to give it. Kings like to give. This is quite the giver, whoever this is, Gemini. I feel like you're in a battle with this person. Okay, with a devil smack dab in the middle. Capricorn energy. 
something that's toxic, something that's controlling. Yeah, again, this controlling energy of like, don't look at it, don't look at it, stop looking there, stop looking at it, stop looking at it, stop looking at it. But Geminis, you're looking at it. Queen of Cups in reverse, you're looking at it. You're looking at it. And I feel like you're battling a King of Wands in reverse, someone who does have a lot of self-interest. In this position, it's someone who has a lot of self-interest, uh, someone who really doesn't like to take life all that seriously. And I feel like this devil energy is more attached to them. It almost like follows them like a little toxic cloud is what I'm getting. I don't even think the king this king realizes it. I don't even think this person realizes it. Yeah, it's like it's almost like Eeyore, but an angry Eeyore, because <laughs> Eeyore's sad, right? I love Eeyore, but Eeyore's sad. This is like an angry Eeyore. This person's an angry Eeyore, and I do feel like they're the Page of Pentacles here in reverse. This is an angry Eeyore that you're dealing with, Gemini. And the fact that you're a Queen of Cups in reverse tells me that you have freaking had it. You've had it. Queen of Cups in reverse is usually considered someone who's like emotionally not very stable. I think that's just because you've been pushed to the edge. You've really been pushed to the edge. And like, you're just not having it anymore. You're not putting up with this bullshit. But Geminis, you have someone here waiting in the wings. Someone who's a true pair to you. It could just be a friend or a family member. But I gotta be honest feels a little like love i gotta be honest feels a little bit like a love vibration going on here um this person some of them whoever this king cups is to you gemini again counting you as the queen of cups here um they're aware you're going through something this is for some of the king cups they're aware you're going through something they don't know what it is they don't know exactly what it is but i feel you challenging this king of wands I feel like you're challenging them. It's almost like you're going to talk about that crack. You're going to open that book or that's it. I'm not dealing with you anymore. You know, very much putting your foot down. You're going to tell me the truth or this conversation's over. Oh, Gemini, I like it. I like it. But you've got an ally. You've definitely got an ally, a true pair ally at that. Um, feels very positive. Feels very positive. I like this King of Cups, whoever they are male or female now let's move on to the sun and justice oh total illumination and gemini's my, my queen of cups slash my knight of pentacles people you're going to get justice served in your favor because you put your foot down you've reached your limit you've reached your max you've reached your max on this um and this person thinks that they can control you this person thinks they can dominate the situation and the truth is like with someone like this like if you just walk away they lose all control, right? They might not think that, but some people learn the hard way. So let's look at justice and see what that has in store for you guys. I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot for this one. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Gemini's, I think deep down, so yeah, I think deep down some of you kind of have an inkling of what that secret is, but I think you just want them to say it. <laughs> I think you just want them to say it. We don't always need people to say it, okay? I'm just, I'm just telling you, we don't always need people to say it. Does it make us feel better? Yeah. Can it provide a little more closure? Yeah, it can. But you know, if you know in your core, because Queen of Cups is very intuitive, and overall you have... If I, could, if I could hold this up. You have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles and the Strength card, right? You got a new beginning here overall right? coming out of this situation, but you also have truth and clarity. Oh, whoa, I've never noticed that. There's a wolf of fire over that Ace of Swords. There's a wolf of fire. <laughs> That's a really awesome image, actually. Uh, wolves are about wisdom, very intuitive energy as well. And Gem Gemini's, why do I? Queen of Cups, deep down, you know this, what this is. Deep down, you kind of know what this fracture is about. I really think you're challenging them because you just want them to say it. I really think you do. But some of you don't. Some of you really don't know. Some of you don't know. But a lot of you, I think, have a suspicion as to what it is. Tell me about justice. Because you spent a lot of time piecing this shit together. You know what I mean? Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Ooh, six of cups. Scorpionic energy could also be past life soulmate karmic energy. And it's also a family vibration. So like I said, for those of us a family energy or a family situation, getting justice for the family. I don't getting justice for whatever has happened in the past for the family, okay? 
I, I gotta be honest though with this justice and the sun card I feel a little bit of a romance vibe with the six of cups I gotta be honest I do feel a little bit of like a fuzzy warm fuzzy butterfly in the tummy kind of like oh fertile oh okay the rabbit's jumping out at me um fertile energy with that let's see what else we got here tell me more about justice Tell me more about justice for Gemini. Geminis. If this, if you're dealing with one person in a relationship, like a romantic relationship, you might be giving this person an ultimatum, this King of Wands an ultimatum, and you already have someone in the wings waiting for you to kind of close this chapter out. Just saying, just saying. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Oh. Eight of Pentacles. There's that study puzzle piece card. <laughs> Putting together all those pentacles to make one giant puzzle piece picture. Virgo energy. Yeah, again, studying the past. What did I say? This is exactly the epitome of studying the past to get justice. You know the answer. You will have the answer, Gemini, if you don't already know it. If you don't already know the secret, if you don't already know what the crack is about, um, you will. You will. The moon card. Secrets. Piscean energy also can't Syrian for me as a reader. It, I love tarot, guys. I love tarot. Yeah, studying the hell out of this secret. Studying the hell out of this crack. You will know. You'll know. If you don't know it already, you're going to know. You're going to find out. Tell me about justice for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Ooh, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Taurian energy here. This is reevaluation. I'm getting heavy reevaluation. An investment. Wait a minute. Oh, hell. Geminis, you might be finding out that this King of Wands was investing elsewhere if this is a romantic situation because it's coming in right behind the moon, right behind the secret, evaluation and investment. Yeah, you might be finding out this, this whoever this is that you've been dealing with in a romantic situation anyway, that they've been investing their efforts elsewhere or they've been investing in another relationship, but it feels like seeds, to be honest. It feels like seeds like planting seeds elsewhere, not fully like, you know, harvesting, right? It's like planting the seeds elsewhere. You might be finding that out. Um, for those where this is about like a business, again, I do feel this energy of like hidden assets, like giving you, like shortchanging you. And when all of it, like, you know, they've actually been keeping some extra cash to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going. A lot of energy of hiding money all of a sudden. Tell me about justice for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Overall energy, ooh. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Underneath that, we have the Hanged Man. Piscean energy, then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be air or water. The person who's waiting in the wings. This is like, I feel a voluntarily, voluntarily, that's not a word, a, a voluntary. why can't I say that word today? Someone's going into isolation voluntarily, there we go, voluntarily, not a cups in reverse, I feel a withholding of love, I really do, I go withholding of love here, but I feel like it's this king of cups going into isolation, the person who's your ally, Gemini, the person who's been waiting in the wings. Do they find out about the secret? But yeah, it's like a major pullback of love so that someone could do some thinking. A major pullback of love so someone can do some thinking here. Geminis, be careful. Oh. Geminis, be very careful here. You might not want to try to provoke this person to get them to say it. Because for some of you where this is a romantic situation, you've got someone over here who is invested in you. And the longer you try to push this person to say whatever it is you want them to say, I feel like your King of Cups over here is going to start withholding more and more love as you focus on the justice. Okay? Be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. If you put in too much of your efforts to just try to get someone to say something or to keep challenging someone, that's, I gotta be honest, that's kind of nurturing negative energy 
and this king of cups who's waiting in the wings might really be affected by that okay so just keep that in mind just keep that in mind um i really want to know what the secret is <laughs> i know it's going to be different for everybody but i'm going to pull out the kipper cards keep in mind guys it's a very detailed deck so and we are going to look at the moon card so it might still be very very vague all right so let's just see what comes out keep in mind it's not for everybody right and then we'll pull some advice Tell me about this moon. Tell me about this secret. What's the secret? What's the secret? What's the crack in the foundation? Tell me about the moon card for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Let's see here. Ooh, bad health. Okay, not surprising. There's the crack. <laughs> There's the crack in the foundation. A lot of stress. I'm getting a lot of stress with this. Very much a ten of wands energy. Tell me more about the moon. Ooh, we've got change with the energy of nine. So yeah, trying to change the situation. So the trying to change the situation. Trying to change the crack. Trying to change the state of this foundation here. By revealing the secrets. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Time with the moon. Time with the moon for Gemini regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh, yeah. Message of concern. 14 breaking down to a 5. You're going to find out the secret gem. You're going to find out what it is. It's gonna be concerning to you, but I think for a lot of you, it's something you've already been suspicious about. It's something you've already had an inkling about, but for some of you where you haven't had that, it's gonna be concerning, it's gonna be very upsetting. On the bottom, we do have mature man with the energy of five. What's interesting, we also have child with the energy of 18 breaking down to a nine. This could be a family secret between a father and their child, um, or about your father, or if you're a father, like a secret about you coming out. Um, it could definitely be that. A child is also about like ignorance, ignorance and being naive. Um, Geminis, specifically my more masculine Geminis or my just straight up guys, guy Geminis here. Um, oh. You just might be really feeling really foolish whenever you find out whatever this is. You might just be like feeling really small, you know? Um, I just, I just got like a really heavy hearted energy with this. If any of you have been wondering who's your, who your real father is, you're going to find out. Yeah, we have official person underneath that. Official person. Official person's like a validation or a confirmation, or it could be someone like a very emperor-like energy. Again, a father-like energy. <sighs> yeah, some of you might find out who your real father is if you've been wondering or if that you've been on the quest for that. That's only going to be for a few of you, okay? But very heavy hearted, very heavy hearted energy with this. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have looked, but you guys know me. I just can't help myself. All right, let's go ahead and get some advice here. But like I said, Geminis, be careful. Don't spend too much time challenging this person because you have an ally here who is going to start pulling away the longer you throw yourself into this, tell me, tell me, tell me, and you stay in that angry mode. Um, it just is an energy that can fester so easily. So just be mindful of that because your ally might be pulling away like the more you want to look at this energy. Or if like, you know, for example, if you're in a romantic situation and you have someone waiting in the wings that you want to be with and you're trying to get out of the situation, but you're like, I need you to say it, I need you to say it, I need you to say it. They're going to get tired of waiting and they're not going to wait for you. Okay. Any messages for Gemini? Any advice or extra messages for Gemini regarding this spread? Where are we at? Oh my God, 39 minutes. <laughs> you guys always make me talk so much um, as I drop the deck. <laughs> Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? 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 
Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Let's see here. Ooh, Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. 52? Yes, 52. I was like, it's backwards for me because it's mirror view. Uh, 52, breaking down to a seven. So being on your path, doing what you got to do to move forward. And like I said, it's like, it's really about not staying in that festery, challenging energy. They're really bringing that up for me again for you guys, because this is manifestation. This is manifesting what you want, manifesting the life you want. And what you want is a stable new beginning away from the bullshit of dishonesty and lies and cover-ups and family secrets and bullshit going on at work and hiding your pay and all of that. You just want to be away from that. You don't want to deal with any of that, Geminis. I can feel it. You don't. You don't. You deserve better. You're tired of it. You've had it. You're up to here with it. And if you want to get out of that and get away from that, that's great and manifest that. But don't spend too much time trying to control a controlling person, right? Because it's like, say it, say it, say it. I'm not taking no, you know, not taking no for an answer. I'm going to look at this. You're going to tell me the truth. Don't stay in that energy too long, man. That is a festering energy and it doesn't need to be harnessed that long before it starts to turn because this person has a devil energy around them, this king of wands, and you're being exposed to that. And I know it's going to sound strange, but like, think about it this way. This king of wands is coming in with devil energy to you, right? Someone who's very controlling, very Capricorn energy. Can you really control the devil? Think about that. This person has a devil energy attached to them right? They're an angry Eeyore. It's a little toxic cloud. This person's controlled by their toxic cloud. You can't control the devil, so don't try, okay? That's basically what I'm getting at. Sorry, they're bringing me back to this person. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to talk about this person a little bit more. This person's at the mercy of their own anger and emotions. They have no control over themselves. And it's really unfortunate because I think this person thinks they do. And I think this person thinks, oh, I'm really good at controlling people in situations. But the truth is, they're being controlled by their own emotions. They're being controlled by their anger. They're not in control of themselves. And this person doesn't realize that. So just be mindful of that. Any advice? Why well, I feel that anger from you, Gemini. I feel that frustration. Uh, any advice? For my Geminis regarding this spread. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? God, they keep bringing up this paternity thing to me. Okay. So for those where you're going through paternity testing, you will get confirmation about who, if the child is your child. And for those who've been seeking out who their father is or have been wondering about that, or if that's like a big kind of family ambiguity that you've had your whole life, you will find out who your father is or isn't. Again, only a handful of you. Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Okay. Oh! It's my favorite card. You guys know what my favorite card is. Otter spirit, 42, breaking down to a six. You are never alone. Two of cups, lovers, six of cups, energy with the dove spirit, be peace, 21, breaking down to a three. Dove spirit, I'm getting heaven sent. I gotta be honest, what I get. I just got heaven sent. That's crazy. Um, it's, a it's a very divine energy. It's also very peaceful, calming energy. This is your ally, Gemini. This is your ally and they're waiting for you in the wings, whether they know what you're going through or not, whether they're cognizantly waiting for you or not, they're, they're right there. They're right there, Gemini. You just have to get out of this challenging energy with this person. And even if you know or not, does it really matter in the hind scheme of things? Like, does it matter to put yourself through this and possibly lose out on someone who's quite peaceful and loving and very supportive and nurturing and all that stuff? Is it really worth it to lose out on someone like that? Because people like this, people who know their value, who know their self-worth, who have peace of mind, who are grounded, who are balanced, they know their self-worth enough to not wait on anybody, no matter how much they care about someone. You know what I mean? So think about that. Is it worth staying in this shit to lose that on honey? Right? That actually just came out of me. I'm not really good at analogies on the fly like that. Why am I? Sorry, a song is actually coming to me. Oh, who sings this? Um, it, it's Love on the Brain. Who sings that song? Who sings that song? Who sings that song? Um, 
why is her name escaping me? I know that I I know you guys know this person. I know you guys know this person. But I'm hearing that song "Love on L Love on the Brain." <laughs> it's got me feeling this way. It's got me feeling so good, but beat me up black and blue. It's like something like that. Anyway, I feel like that's actually the energy coming from this King of Cups. I really feel like this energy is coming from this King of Cups. For a lot of you, this is like a, a potential lover, a new lover, or someone that even you have interest in, someone who's definitely interested in you. It could just be a straight up friend, but I'm getting heavy romantic energy off of this, to be honest. Very heavy romantic energy. Um... Oh God, they keep rolling that song over. Anyway, I need to get away from that energy. But that's this person's energy. So Gemini, don't, you know, just be mindful. Don't lose this person if you don't want to lose them. Overall, ooh, swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. This is a very Piscean card for me. Geminis, they just, they just told me to tell you this. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself dig deep into the depths of your soul when it comes to dealing with this person and be honest with yourself is it really important that you know is it worth your, your sanity is it worth having to dig that answer out of them is it worth trying to strong arm them into just getting them to say what you want them to say and for a lot of you deep down you already kind of know the answer anyway is it worth it is it worth it because I feel Gemini's from a who are my queen of cups en energies. You got a lot of love in your heart, a lot of love in your heart. And it really hasn't been um, respected for dealing with this person. Your family hasn't respected you for it. Your coworkers haven't respected you for it. They haven't respected the fact that you are very intuitive. You're very nourishing in your own right. And there's something about you that's, that's very much a nurturer, almost like a not quite the Midas touch, but it's like you can look at something and you know. It's, I have to stitch this video now. It's going to add like another hour to my processing time. Anyway, um, be honest with yourself. Dig deep here. Is it worth it to challenge this person? Well, you got someone here who's just like waiting with open arms, right? So just keep that in mind, gems. Keep that in mind. All right, guys. As always, a really fabulous, long, intense read. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, gems. Namaste.